Hello everyone. This is Dr. I. Getsi Akila Purnima, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, RIT. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the minimization of DFA. Right. So what is minimization of DFA? So minimization is nothing but we are going to reduce the number of states of DFA. Right. That is minimization. So why do we need minimization of DFA? Why do we need this kind of minimization or reducing the number of states? Right. So DFA is mainly used for pattern matching. Right. So for this, if you reduce the number of states, then the computational cost for pattern matching will be reduced. Right. So in order to reduce the computational cost, we will be going for this minimization. Right. So how to minimize a DFA? So this is going to be discussed in this video. Right. So in order to reduce the states, we need to merge the equivalent states. Right. So when the states are said to be equivalent, that is what we are going to discuss now. Right. So we are going to discuss an algorithm called table filling algorithm. So this table filling algorithm leads you to find the equivalent states. Right. Say, for example, I'm taking a DFA with the n number of states, right? So for this, you have to build an n minus 1 cross n minus 1 table. n is nothing but the number of states in the given DFA, right? So the each column should be named by the name of the states starting from the first state till n minus 1 states, right? And row should be named with the name of the state starting from the second state till the n states, n states, not n minus 1, n states, right? And here we need to eliminate the duplicate cells, right? I'll discuss in the upcoming slide, right? So each cell in the table represents a pair of states in the DFA, right? Let us see that one. And now we are going to mark the cell as X whenever you see a pair of equivalent states not equivalent states, right? That is distinguishable states. X in the sense, no, right? Cross symbol, we, have, we are going to denote. So the cells are marked with a X symbol whenever you see a pair of non-equivalent states, right? So at the end of the process, the empty cells will be considered as equivalent states, right? Let us take a problem. And this is a given DFA, you need to find the equivalent states in order to merge these states into a single state, right? So here the given DFA contains eight number of states. So you have to build the table of size n minus one cross n minus one, that is seven cross seven dimensional table we have to build, right? Because eight number of states are there in this DFA. So we have to develop or we have to build n cross n table right this is my table see the states are named see each column is named after the name of the states from the first state to n minus one state right so a b c d e f g h up to h is there now we have to write up to g so second state to n minus one state that is seventh state right here the eighth state to second state here the second state start from second state b c d e f g up to nth state that is eighth state this is my table now we need to eliminate the duplicate cells so what are the duplicate cells let us take uh, b b b so both are same right b b this cell so this cell is not required right this cell is not required b b is not required because both are same states Right. So here, this state is not required, and this B C right already. This this cell is there right? B C. So this is not required, and this is not required. This is not required. This is not required. Right. Likewise, we'll be eliminating the duplicate cells. See, see this cell. Uh, C, C is not required and C, D, this is not required because here this is a cell that C, D, right? D, C is there already. So we have to eliminate this one, right? And here eliminate this one and eliminate this one, eliminate this one, right? Eliminate this. So after eliminating the duplicate cells, you'll be getting the table like this, right? So each row is named after 
the cells starting from the state starting from A to N minus one state. And that is first state to N minus one state. And here the each row is marked from second state to nth state, right? This is my table. Now, we have to mark X in each cell if the pair of the states are not equivalent, right? So, not equivalent. Let us take. So, this is my transition table for the given DFA, right? So, states A to H and possible inputs are 0 and 1. So, this is the transition table for the given DFA. And this is my table. I have built this table, right? Now, I have to cross, I have to uh, put the X mark in the cells enclosing the pair of non-equivalent states. Let us take, see here, there are two sets of states. One is accepting, set of accepting states and other is set of non-accepting states, right? See here, this, take this cell, take this cell, this cell, see A, H, so both the states A and H are non-accepting states. See here, in the given DFA, C is the accept state, right? C is the final state and C is the final state. So others are non-final states. See here, A and H, A and H. So both are non-accepting states, right? So we cannot put X mark here because A and H both are non-accepting states. Let us take this cell, B, H. B, H also, both are non-accepting states. But C, H, C is the accept state and H is not an accept state. So, C and H are not equivalent because one is an accept state and the other is non-accept state, right? So, this has to be marked as X, right? And uh, see, for example, C, G, this is also should be marked as X and C, F, then C, E. Then C, D. And here also C, A. Then C, B. Right? So, we are, we are just, we are putting X mark in the cells comprising of a final state and non-final state. That is accept state and the non-accept state. Combination of accept and non-accept. So, these cells are marked as X. So, this is a round one. In the next round, you will be analyzing each cell again. See, see the cell A, H, see A, H, right? This is A, A cell, A state and H state. See, for A and H, if you give input B, where will it go? So, for A, if you give 0, it will go to B. And for H, if you give 0, it will go to H, G, right? So, B, G. C, B and G. B and G are said to be equivalent, right? There is no into mark here. So, B and G are said to be equivalent. Okay. Then try this next input 1. So, if you give 1 input to A, it will go to F. And for the state H, if you give input 1, it goes to C. So, analyze this FC. FC. F is nothing but an accept state. He see the table FC. Right? F C. This is a non-equivalent state. So, this one is non-equivalent state. That is why A, A, sorry, B and H are said to be B, right? A and H. C, F and C. So, F and C are not equivalent states. Hence, A and H also not equivalent. So, put X mark here. In the next cell, B, H. See, this is B and H. For B, if you give input, it goes to G. And for H also, if you give 0, it goes to G. So, both are G equivalent, right? And if you give 1 for B state, it will go to Z, C. And for H, it will, again, it goes to C. So, both the states are said to be equivalent. So, you should not put X mark here. Because B and H are now equivalent, right? Then the next cell, take D, H, right? D and H, D and H. See, it goes C and G, C and G, C here, C and G. C and G is not equivalent. So this is also not equivalent. And for E, H, E and H, right? 
H and G. See H and G. This is no, not a equivalent. Sorry, equivalent, right? H and G are equivalent. Then I try for the next one. F and C. So F, F and F and C. So this is not equivalent. So this is also not equivalent. Similarly, for the cell F H, F H, right? C G it goes when you give zero, it goes to C and G. So analyze this here. C G. This is not equivalent. So F H also not equivalent. Put X mark here. And G H, G H. When you give zero, both the states goes go to G and G, right? G and G. So equivalent. Then E and C. If you give one for G, it goes to E. And for H, if you give one, it goes to C. So you see E and C. E and C. This is not equivalent. Hence, G H is also not equivalent, right? So it state similarly for state A G A G, right? A G also A G. So if you give zero, it goes to B and G, right? B G. Here, B G is said to be equivalent. And next, try for the next it goes to G, and here it goes to F. So F G. This is also equivalent. So you should not mark X here, right? A G. Now. Now, so next status G B, right? So this one G B that is B and G. So for B and G, if you give input zero, it goes to C G and G. It's okay. And here it is C and E. C and E means these are not equivalent states. Hence B G is also not equivalent. Right, not equivalent. Then similarly for the pair D G. So for D and G, it goes to C and G. C and G are not equivalent. Hence D G also not equivalent. So put mark here. X mark D G and E G. E and G. See here, if you go, if you give input zero, it goes to H and G. So H and G. This not equivalent. So this pair of state is also not equivalent. There is E and G are also not equivalent. And F and G, right? So F and G, F and G, if you give zero as input, it goes to C and G. C and G are not equivalent, right? C and G are not equivalent. So it is also not equivalent. Next pair is A and F. So A, F. See here, A and F. If you give input zero, it goes to B and C. B and C. See, B and C. B and C. This is not equal. Hence, it is also not equal. And AF is also not equal. And BF, right? BF. Similarly, BF is also not equal. And FDF is also uh, DF. See, DF, D and F. See, if you give input zero, both the state go to C state, right? C, both are C. And if you give input one, D goes to G and F also goes to G. Hence, D and F is said to be equivalent. So you should not mark X here, right? So D and F are equivalent. And E and F not equivalent, right? And A and E, C, A and E. A and E, if you give input zero, A goes to B and and E goes to H, right? B and H. For B and H, already it is not an equivalent pair. So, and try for the next input, 1. So, if you give 1, 1 as input to F, A, it goes to F. And for D, it goes to G. And C, F, G pair. F, G. Right? F, G. Sorry. A and E. Uh, F and F. A and E. You are analyzing the state A and E. So for input 0, it goes to B and H. So B and H are equivalent states. And try for the next input 1. So it goes to F and F. Both are F. So A and F is said to be equivalent states. So you should not mark X here. And try for the next cell B, E. 
so b is not equivalent and d e is also not equivalent and a d is also not equivalent b d is also not equivalent and a b also not equivalent and again go for the next round see next round and mark the cells are b h a g and a e and also d f among these four let us try b h again b h right just a minute b h let us erase the previous one See for the pair B H, right? B and H, right? So B and H for the input zero, both the states go to G, and for the input one, both the states go to C. So we cannot mark B H again, right? And try for A G, A G, right? A state A and state G. For state A, when you give input zero, it goes to B, and for state G, it goes to G, right? B and G. See the B G pair; they are not equivalent, and hence A G is also not equivalent, right? And try for the next pair D F. See D and F. D and F. It is not at all possible to be equivalent D and F because for input zero both the states go to C and for the input one both the states go to uh, G so they are said to be equivalent only and we should not mark X here and try for the next A E so you see A state A and A E see so for zero input the pair goes to B H so B H already it is not an equivalent state and try for the next input one F F so not at all possible to be equivalent so this will be so not equivalent this will be equivalent right so the pair A E then D F and B H so these three states these three pairs are equivalent pairs right so in our problem we can merge these these states that is we can merge a and e and you can merge b and h and you can merge d and f right now see this table b h is not equal sorry equivalent and a e or equivalent and d f or equivalent now this is our uh, final minimized dfa because see the initial state a here in the given DFA, A is the initial state and A and E are equivalent, right? So you can merge A and E as a single state. So A, E is the initial state, right? And similarly for the state B, see B and H are equivalent. So you can merge B and H together. And for the state D, see for the state D and F, both are equivalent. So D and F can be merged as a single state DF, right? So will be marking the transitions and everything and the final status in the given dfa the final status c so here also c will be the final state so this is your final uh, minimized dfa actually the in the given dfa there will there was eight states right there are eight states in the dfa and now we got five states so, so eight states have been reduced to five states right this is what the minimization so first you will be uh, building a table with dimension n minus 1 cross n minus 1, where n is nothing but the number of states in the given DFA. And you will be eliminating all the duplicate cells. And after that, you will be getting the table like this, and you will be filling the table. So you will be marking x in the cells with pair of non equivalent states. So you will be, uh, you will not be marking any. Um, x or anything in the cells with equivalent states, right? So as a result, we got three pairs of uh, states, the equivalent states, right? Three pairs. So we'll be merging them and altogether we'll be getting five state DFA, right? This is the uh, final answer. Thank you.